Hey, you guys. Good morning. I am back today. I want to discuss and give my take um, or discuss, break down, and give my take of the whole Webby situation. All right, so for those of y'all who do not know, Webby is a rapper, and about two days ago, he caught his children, one of their guy friends, and one of their friends, who was a female, in bed together at around 4 a.m., 5 a.m. So... His response to finding them was to publicly shame them online. Um, at one point in the video, you can see the friend trying to leave. The girl says, you can't just leave me here. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. Yeah, each, yeah, each point, the kid's friends tried to book it. But um, he got them all back in the house and eventually got a hold of their parents. Um, and his first wave of discipline was taking off the door for his children. So with that being said, um, and he, of course, said there's more to come from that. He's just working that off as the first thing, which makes sense. It's 5 a.m. in the morning, 4 a.m. in the morning. Just, you know, just start there. Um, nonetheless, moving on from that. All right. So. Ooh, excuse me. Sorry. All right, I pretty much gave y'all the premise of what happened, but let me give y'all a vivid description. All right, so this is an article from hotnewhiphop.com, Parenting One-on-One -on -one with Webby. Parenting is undoubtedly a difficult job, and it gets harder even in their teenage years, or it gets even harder in their teenage years. Webby recently took to the internet to put both of his teenage sons on blast as well as their friend after he caught them in bed with a girl. Rebby is definitely not here for his teenage sons to be having sex in his house, and he had to put them on blast after he caught them in bed with a girl. The rapper went in on both their kid on both kids and their friends on social media. The rapper explains that he got home and went upstairs to find his two sons and their friend in bed with a girl. Webby took his phone and made sure to catch all the kids' faces on Instagram Live while letting the kids know that they definitely fucked up. At one point, the kid's friend tries to make his friend... Yeah, this is when the kid tries to make his way out. He said, don't get to running. Don't run out this motherfucker. Webby continued to press the girl and the kid's friend... Kid's friend to give him their parents' phone number. Towards the end of the video, Webby puts the girl on blast for being in bed with the three boys and one little girl in the bed. Girl, that's crazier than a motherfucker. You better stop, he said. Alrighty, so there are the articles. Um, right now, I'm going to show y'all the clip where he defends his actions, because, of course, he got backlash after that. Then I'm going to come back to y'all and read y'all some comments from some of those blog sites. And, you know, um, I'm just going to skip through some of them. But I'm going to skim through and read some of those to y'all. And then I will give y'all my final take. Yep. So y'all listen to the audio of Webby defending his actions via TMZ. And then I will come back with my... Take. When I when I ran into that situation, I wasn't thinking about whose kids it was or where it kid. All of them bad. All of them was wrong. A lot of people told me you should have took off a belt and whooped all they motherfuckers. <laughs> I was in the studio this time, and I heard something upstairs. I heard a, I heard a girl voice, and I, I know I saw. Anyway, I walked in like like puppies. They all looked up at me like what. You know what I'm saying? What were they doing? What were they doing? They wasn't doing nothing. Everybody had their clothes on. You know, been being bad kids. It's five o'clock, four o'clock in the morning. I say, what the fuck? I say, what y'all doing? Uh-uh. Everybody, get up. All y'all. Every, come on, come on. You know what I'm saying? I say, what's y'all parents' number? What's y'all parents' number? You know what I'm saying? Cause look, I said, and one of the that little friend, the little boy, he he put his book sack on, like he was about to run out the house. Uh -huh. I said, oh, no, 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 y'all can't do that. Anyway, I said, put your book sack down. Put your book sack down. You hear me? Where the parents at? Where the parents at? Anyway, nobody would give me an answer. I said, I need, if y'all need the parents. Anyway, that's when they, he ran, they ran out the house. The girl rolled here on the back of his bike. So they, he, he, they was in the house. He, 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 look, he went and got on his bike. You hear me? And the little girl said, uh-uh, you can't just leave me like that. You can't just, but anyway. Anyway, I hadn't already told my sons, go get them. Don't let them run away from this house. 
They could know it's four o'clock in the morning. I'm not about to let no kids run away from this house. They can go say anything. We already being sneaky here. All of them. I'm talking about my kids and that. Go get them and bring them back here. What, was there any punishment? Anybody right. ground? Anybody grounded? What? 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 Man, I took all. I ripped the doors off the room. They don't have doors no more. Oh my God! In, <laughs> the, oh, no. in their bedrooms, oh, you ripped no. off the doors. Man, I don't know what their parents did to them. I mean, but I know my kids. We and we still have some more punishments and stuff to go across. <laughs> All right, so you guys just watched that video. Um, I was scrolling through some of the comments on TMZ, Hip Hop DX, and HotNewHipHop.com and stuff like that. And people are pretty much 50-50. You know what I'm saying? Most people are like, ah, you did well, but handle this shit offline. And there are people who are praising him for it and saying, you know, the traditional by the book parenting doesn't go together with these, you know, pretty much these millennials and shit. Um... So my take on the situation is, first of all, I don't think that the the girl's face should have been put in the video. If you want to embarrass, really and truly, the girl and the other guy, friend, if you want to put your sons on blast, um, then you do that. Because at the end of the day, that's your right, you know what I'm saying, to make that decision for them. I don't believe you should have made the decision on behalf of the other parents to put the other two in the video. Yes, they were there. Yes, they were all a part of it. However... Those are not your kids. You know what I'm saying? And secondly, the reason why I say the girl is because she's going to get the most out of this. And, you know, as I was scrolling through some of the comments on those sites, a lot of them would, you know, they would shame everybody, but then they would go hella in on the girl. You know what I'm saying? Like one of them said, oh, these kids these days and that girl skank. You know what I'm saying? So she's going to get the uh, shame the most out of this. You know what I'm saying? And that's going to come into some slut shaming. You know, hopefully, you know, her name ain't attached to none of this shit. You know what I'm saying? She made a stupid mistake. They're all kids. They all made a stupid mistake. But if you want to do that with your sons, then you do that. I don't believe he should have did that with the friend and the girl. And definitely not the girl. Because if her name is attached to any of this, she's going to have to hear how she's a, sc a slut and a skank for the rest of her life. You know what I'm saying? She there by or therefore becomes untainted goods just because of that. You know what I'm saying? Just because of that one fucking incident. So I don't agree with that, regardless of if you can find her name or not. Just I wouldn't have done that anyways. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's see. And I get the vibe also that these are all minor children because Webby was born September 6th, 1985. So 15 years plus that is 2000. And then we're in 2018. So he's only 33. So his kids can't be but that old unless he has them as teens. But I get the vibe that they're teens because, um, well, for one, the articles say teenagers, but they must be on the younger side of teenagers. They have to be because the friend took the girl there on his bike. So unless he's just a shitty driver, <laughs> I have to imagine that these kids are 13, 14. You know what I'm saying? So even if you look at it from a news or a media out, um, outlet aspect, um, if they're teens, I don't think their, their information would be as out there. You know what I'm saying? I don't think they would have their faces anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Granted, I don't watch the news like that, but I'm assuming if you're a minor, you're somewhat protected from that stuff. So I would also say that's my reasoning for, um, I, I just wouldn't have put, I, I would have went out of a different way. You know what I'm saying? Not everything has to be on social media. And I also feel like some people are making excuses for Webby. Because he's a celebrity. Because at the end of the day, anytime some parent who is a regular civilian, some a regular nobody comes out and, you know, whoops their child ass on what's it called. And the reason why I say whoops, granted, he didn't whoop his children's ass, which I'm glad he didn't on live. However, there are parents who do that. And then, you know what I'm saying, especially, specifically black women, you know, they're black single mothers and they're called ratchet, ghetto hood rat and everything in between. And oh, she probably learned it from you. You know what I'm saying? So I do have to call out the double standard there. You know what I'm saying? Because with him being a black man, yeah, this is, you know, this is cool. This is it. Da, 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 da. This, then the third. But had, you know, hell, I'm thinking of a black woman with some kids. Um, shit. I'm trying to think of a black celebrity woman with some kids, but she's not too, you know what I'm saying? Hell, she's black-ish. Um, Cardi B. <laughs> Let's say had this been babe, her and baby culture, 
You know what I'm saying? It would have been a whole different type of comments. So the whole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, da da da, this and the other. You don't have to call out the hypocrisy on that, with it being a man versus a woman. Because I've seen this happen before with civilian women who do this and they put it up on Facebook Live and they get, you know, slaughtered. You know what I'm saying? They're a ghetto hood rats, da da da, this and the other. And you shouldn't do this to your child on da da. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it should be done at all, period. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just my thoughts. Now, a lot of people are also pointing at the hypocrisy of you're a rapper, so you rap about the stuff, and you can't expect your kids not to be influenced by it. Um, I have 50-50 feelings on that. I'm very iffy on that because I know I do music, you know what I'm saying? But I know some of the things that I do in my music now, you know what I'm saying, when I have kids somewhat years down the line, um... I wouldn't, you know, it would be different, you know what I'm saying? Well, my music, it would be different anyways, you know what I'm saying? The only reason, a way I could justify that is if Webby is still currently rapping today and he's still rapping the same shit. Like, if he's on some Jay-Z shit where he's, you know, 444, he's elevated, well, then I can say, okay, he rapped about that when he was younger. So you can't really use that against him. Now, I do want to come out and approach that from a different angle, though. All right, so... Webby's first known verse is, or song, is For My Thugs. Um, it's with Lil Boosie. It was released January 1st, 2002 on Trill Entertainment. So at that time, he was 17, um, unless his birthday, no, his birthday is in September. So he was actually 16 when that was released because his birthday is September 6th. All right, so let's see. He was signed by local label Get Money Boys by the age of 11. He was writing, having gigs, and meeting important people that would help him launch his career. Um, when urban music splashed its influence thicker in the nation, he moved on with the bigger label Trill Entertainment. He was only 15 years old and was signed to Recording House, which was co-owned by the late rapper Pimp C of duo UGK. Together with Lil Boosie, he recorded several indie tapes and slowly became a commodity to the rap scene. There we go. Here's what I'm trying to get to. All right. The teen who was known as Webby began to release singles to Urban Radio and surprisingly received favorable response. Here are these song titles. Give Me That Pussy and Bad Bitch were released in 2004. Managed to turn a few heads, leading to the successful release of his first album, Savage Life, in July 2005. All right. Now, granted, he said they all said those were released in 2004. So by then he was 19. But my point in saying that is he was young and dumb at the end of the day. You know what I'm saying? And let's not get it twisted. Yeah, he was in important business meetings and he was getting set up for life. He's still a nigga, though. So I'm pretty sure Webby's, Webby was around here slanging that web, slanging the Webster. You know what I'm saying? Since that's his real name. <laughs> Slanging the Webster around when he was young, too. Don't get it twisted. And that's why I say, you know what I'm saying, on this channel, I always say, you know what I'm saying, um, we, are all, we are all walking, living, breathing hypocrites. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm not saying that to say that's a bad thing. Now, if you're somebody who's fucking a married person and you're telling your friend, you need to stop fucking a married person because they're fucking a married person. Well, then, yeah, that's, that's a different type of hypocrite. I'm just talking about, I did this at one point in my life, and now I'm telling you not to do it. You know what I'm saying? And that's pretty much what parenting, you know, I'm not saying is in a nutshell, but that's the big part of parenting. You know what I'm saying? You tell your kid, stop doing this. And then you hear your parents' voice in your head, um, remembering when they told you, a, a time when they told you to stop doing this. You know what I'm saying? Uh, um, so I'm pretty sure all parents have stories about that. Like, oh my gosh, I sound like my mother right now. You know what I'm saying? So we hear things about that from my parents. You know what I'm saying? But um, with that being said, overall, I wouldn't have publicized. I think that's the biggest issue for me. I would not have publicized it. I don't agree in the, the shaming of it all. Because at the end of the day, Webby was a child at one point. I'm pretty sure he got into some things and got into some panties when he was a kid. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's a little hypocr hypocritical to, you know, publicly shame them. And on top of that, I just don't, I, I don't agree with the shaming part. I'm all for the punishment part. Because at the end of the day, this is their roof. They have his roof, his house. You abide by his rules. And there really should have to be a rule that says, uh, you don't need to be sneaking on a girl up in here. Um, 
I did see people trying to poke fun and um, three guys on one girl that's suspect. Well, I mean, it's called a train. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of a thing nowadays. It's kind of been a thing for a while. Um, me personally, that's not my cup of tea. I'm very selfish in bed. I, I don't want to share. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't even do a threesome with two girls unless it was we're not dating. If I'm not dating either one of them. Because if I'm dating one and she eats the pussy out better than I do, because she got a pussy. It's just like how, you know what I'm saying, you have guys who will say guys suck dick better because they have a dick. You know what I'm saying? We veering off into some other shit. But I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying, if she eat the pussy better than I do, then now we got a problem. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I, I, I just rather not share. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's just my take. I'm not, I'm not for the trains and all that shit. I don't want to see everybody else's junk. That's not me. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a train. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? That's what the kids are into nowadays. That sounds terrible to say it like that. But, I mean, that's what it is. So, you know what I'm saying? That's in a whole irrelevant part of the story, though. Um, people are always trying to troll and poke fun in stories. Um, serious stories that can be, you know, serious discussions and serious moments to, you know, hold debates and stuff. You know what I'm saying? But that's pretty much what it is for me. I don't believe in the public shaming of it. Um, I do find it a bit hypocritical, but like I said, I don't, I don't look at the word hypocrite as a bad thing necessarily. Cause to an extent we all are hypocrites. Um, all 8 billion of us and growing. So with that being said, um, that's my take on the situation. Um, I'm all for the punishment. I just would have kept it off social media. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, these kids have lives to live after this. And I don't want them to be tainted by one stupid mistake. Um, and I definitely don't want the girl to, you know, have to go through the sluts and skanks of the internet calling her that, and it's just, it's, it's not a good look, you know what I'm saying? And that shit can stick with her forever, as long as, as well as it can stick with all of them. So I just wouldn't put it online. But nonetheless, um, overall, my take is keep that shit in the house, but you did good, Webby. Just keep that shit in the house. You don't have to put stuff on the internet, everything on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, that's my take on the situation. Um, thank y'all for watching this video. If there's anything y'all would like me to discuss, leave a link down or a link of a link with the research or not with the research, but just leave me, you know, the comment down below. Um, I get some research going on and I'll look it up and yep, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.